Well, we just talked to Portland about you know, making sure that you got your first touchdown pass and that everybody knew whoever was going to be, the, you know, to catch it that we did. So how, how nice is it that it matters that much to, to your team? Yeah, well, he was adamant about it. I think, uh, you know, that speaks to his uh, character and his ability to be a great teammate. Um, you know, we all um, depend on Cortland, rely on him. He's a great leader and captain for us, and that just kind of represents who he is. Um, but it was a great moment. Um, you know, thankful that he was the one that caught it, and, and uh, you know, glad we can get past that and move on to other things. Well, you know, in reviewing the film, you know, getting off to an up and down start on offense, how much of it was due to the weather? How much other factors? Would you, say? Uh, you know, I, I, probably a lot. I think you know um, some of the the call sheets um, limited when when you have weather like that, and um, they can play a little bit more aggressively, and and uh, you know things change. But I feel like we adapted well, especially in the second half, um, and we adjusted and we found ways to to score points when we needed to. Yeah, well, I think um, you know just that yards yards per carry has has been really good. Um, our backs have done a really good job of running the football. Um, they've been physical. They've been hard to tackle. And then it starts up front. Those five, you know, took it upon themselves, especially Sunday in the second half. You know, that's one thing that we were going to come out of the locker room doing, and that's um, they took pride in it and they went out there and and essentially got it done. So that's what you want to see. That's you know what you have to do in this league to win games. When they know you're running the ball and you're able to to do it and do it efficiently, that's that's important. Oh, well, you've been involved in a, a lot of big rivalries in college at Auburn and Oregon, Oregon as well. Um, have you got a sense of how big the Broncos Raiders rivalry is and what would that be like on Sunday? Yeah, so I've uh, I've been able to get a, a sense of it a little bit, but I, I don't think you really truly understand it. I think until you play in your first one, so. Um, I'm excited to play Sunday, and um, I know it's important for this organization. I know it has been for a long time, and, um, you know, the players, we don't take it lightly. So we're going to go out there and um, compete at a high level, and I know, you know, they will too. Um, so it's going to be a fun football game. What's your take on the throwback uniforms that you've been reading about the history of and all that kind of stuff? Yeah, I think they're awesome. I think any time you can, um, you know, pay a little tribute to, to former teams that have come before you and have, you know, kind of laid the foundation for the opportunity that you have. I think that's really important. Um, and it's fun to, you know, wear throwbacks. I think that's, uh, you know, always a neat thing that um, teams are able to do and ours are pretty cool. Well, I just start at play one and go through and then, uh, you know, get to the end. And um, every once in a while you, you go back and watch it ag again and, um, you know, end up probably watching it two or three times before you close it and uh, go the next week. But you can always learn things, um, whether it's from your point of view or somebody else's or a coach's um, and some things that, you know, I miss a coach or a other player will point out to me as we go. So it's good to evaluate that. And, um, you know, Sunday's tough to evaluate because it was a sloppy game, you know, a lot of rain and a lot of things that you're like, um, you know, let weather affect it. But um, it's good that we won those games. Um, it's also better watching the game when you know you won it. Well, I heard Jake Palmer say that he likes, you know, a lot of good misses. That you're throwing them only your guy can get it or you're making it that no way that he can. I mean, is that a conscious thing? Not just Sunday, but in general to you know, have a good miss and it's not going to be the perfect pass that you do a touchdown. Yeah, well, I, I think that's a funny statement because no miss are good. But uh, you you do want to make sure that, um, you know, the ball is catchable to where your guy can get it or nobody can get it. You know, you don't want to have, you know, many footballs in jeopardy to where, you know, the other team has an opportunity to, um, to tip it or pick it or get their hands on it. But, um, you know, our misses are close. And, and I think, you know, each week we get to play with one another. You know, more and more is going to, um, you know, change things. And I felt like, you know, the last time we were able to really get around and spin it was Tampa. And we, I felt like we did, you know, a really good job. So, you know, hopefully we continue to improve on that. And, um, you know, I think we will. What did you do with Walt? Uh, it'll, it'll be at the house. You know, hopefully it'll uh, be up for a while until my wife gets tired of it, I guess. <laughs> well, what do you see? The, Raiders, one, the, the Raiders defense don't know about Max Crosby's status, but certainly know. Well, they're they're a good football team. They uh, they fly around. They do a lot of different things. Um, they're very multiple. Uh, good in the back end. Good in the front seven. 
Um, they can get pressure on the quarterback. Um, they tackle well. They're physical. Um, and I know it's going to be an intense game. So um, we have to do a good job of just executing our plan, knowing that they're going to be around, knowing they're going to make their plays. Um, but we just have to make more than they do. Thank you both. Thank you. Thanks,